okay uh, once again we take the same data which we took in the previous question in which we calculated arithmetic mean median mode harmonic mean geometric mean uh, quartile 1 quartile 3 decile 6 percentile 68 uh, and similarly now we are going to discuss about the measures of dispersion uh, in which we calculate the different types of spread of data or dispersion of the data uh, through different measures uh, both absolute measures and relative measures in absolute measures we calculate the spread in absolute terms uh, whereas in relative measures we calculate uh, the spread or dispersion in relative term uh, in relative measure we use the word coefficient for example range is an absolute measure whereas coefficient of range is a relative measure or simply we can say that in absolute measure we calculate the spread or dispersion in absolute term or unit term whereas uh, in uh, relative measure we calculate the spread or dispersion uh, in fraction or percentage term or relative term so here is the question in which it is asked that calculate absolute and relative measures of dispersion given below range and coefficient of range quartile deviation or semi interquartile range and coefficient of quartile deviation mean deviation through mean and coefficient of mean deviation of mean standard deviation and coefficient of standard deviation variance and coefficient of variation and at the end two measures of skewness are asked in the question so data is the same which we took in the previous question uh, related to the measures of central tendency so here uh, we use some previous calculations for example in previous question related to group data measures of central tendency we calculated mean median mode harmonic mean geometric mean quartile 1 quartile 3 decile 6 percentile 6 and here are the answers extracted from the previous question related to measures of central tendency so now we are going to calculate all these uh, absolute measures of dispersion and relative measures of dispersion along with uh, coefficient of skewness related to call pearson and bolis coefficient of skewness so first of all first absolute measure is range measure is range so range is equals to xm minus x not maximum value of class mark minus minimum value of class mark there are different methods to calculate the range for example uh, you can take the last upper limit of class boundary uh, as an xm and uh, first lower limit of the first class or first uh, lower class boundary of the first class as x not 12.75 minus 9.75 is equal to 3 so range is 3 which is an absolute measure uh, another way is that you can take the difference of maximum x and minimum x 12.5 minus 10 which is also considered as correct uh, that is the second uh, way to calculate range but uh, this way is better than this one so 12.75 minus 9.75 is equals to 3 so range is 3 coefficient of range that is relative measure of range is equals to xm minus x not divided by xm plus x not very simple that first of all in upper side we just subtract these two value and in lower side we just add up these two value and divide these two answer will be 0.133 second measure 
is quartile or deviation or semi interquartile range that is absolute measure uh, which calculates the dispersion in absolute term so formula for quartile deviation or semi interquartile range is q3 minus q1 divided by 2 we calculated these both quartile in previous question uh, quartile 3 is 11.57 and quartile 1 is 10.58 so after putting the values in the formula uh, we take quartile deviation or semi interquartile range that is 0.495 so it is an absolute measure so what is the coefficient of quartile deviation simply it is the division of q3 minus q1 quartile 3 minus quartile 1 divided by quartile 3 plus quartile 1 so after putting the values in the formula and after the calculation we can take the coefficient of quartile deviation that is 0.044 so <coughs> after that the third way to calculate the dispersion or spread is mean deviation through mean median or mode in group data uh, you can take uh, or use three averages uh, as mean median and mode uh, simple if as in this question it is mean deviation through mean so uh, we take the sum of f x minus mean divided by sum of f if it is mean deviation through median then formula will be sum of f x minus median divided by sum of f if it is deviation through mode then it will be sum of f x minus mode divided by sum of f and these bars means vertical bars means that we ignore the minus signs so first of all we will calculate the x minus mean x are these values and what is the mean arithmetic mean is 11.1 so 10 minus 11.1 is equals to 1.1 as i told you that we must ignore the minus signs uh 10.5 minus 11.1 is equal to 0.6 11 minus 11.1 is equals to 0.1 and so on and after that we will multiply uh, the relevant or specific frequency with the x minus mean so 1.1 multiplied by 7 that will be equals to 7.7 0.6 multiplied by 12 that will be equals to 7.2 0.1 multiplied by 17 that will be equal to 1.7 and so on so after summing all the values the result is 33.2 so after putting the result into the formula 33.2 divided by 60 uh, that will be equals to 0.553 and coefficient of mean deviation through mean is equals to mean deviation through mean divided by mean if it is coefficient of mean deviation through median then it will be mean deviation through median divided by median and if it is coefficient of mean deviation through mode uh, the formula will be mean deviation through mode divided by mode but in this case it is asked that the mean the coefficient of mean deviation through mean then the formula will be mean deviation through mean divided by mean so here mean deviation through mean is 0.553 and mean is 11.1 so after putting the values in the formula the answer will be 0.0498 after that the fourth dispersion topic is the standard deviation so standard there are a lot of formulas to calculate the standard deviation but here i use one formula to calculate the standard deviation and that will be equals to sum of f x square divided by sum of f minus sum of fx over sum of f whole square or we can say that uh, whole square of the mean because mean is equals to sum of fx divided by sum of f so here we need uh one other calculation and that is sum of f multiplied by x square so 
एफ एक्स केयर इज इक्वल टू एफ मल्टीप्लाई बाई एक्स केयर और अनदर वे टू कैलकुलेट एफ एक्स केयर दैट आई थिंक दैट इज इजी विद द प्रीवियस वे टू कैलकुलेट एंड दैट इज सिंपली मल्टीप्लाई दिस एफ एक्स विद दिस एक्स एंड दैट विल बी इक्वल टू एफ एक्स केयर सो सेवेंटी मल्टीप्लाई बाई टेन विल बी सेवन हंड्रेड वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स मल्टीप्लाई बाई टेन पॉइंट फाइव विल बी वन थ्री टू थ्री वन एटी सेवन मल्टीप्लाई बाई इलेवन इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी पॉइंट फाइव सेवन एंड सो ऑन एंड द रिजल्ट इज सेवन फोर टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सो आफ्टर पुटिंग द वैल्यू इन द फॉर्मूला सेवन फोर टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई सम ऑफ एफ इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी एंड माइनस सम ऑफ एफ x over sum of f six sixty six divided by sixty whole square, and after calculation of this formula, uh, the result is zero point six eight one nine zero. So after that, standard deviation is an absolute measure. So what is the relative measure that will be coefficient of standard deviation, and that is equals to standard deviation divided by mean. 0.68190 divided by 11.1 because standard deviation is 0.68190 and mean is 11.1 so after putting the values in the formula answer is 0.0614 after that fifth way to calculate the spread or dispersion is the variance variance is simply square of the standard deviation so standard deviation is 0.68190 uh, the square of 0.68190 is 0.4649 and the coefficient of variation is simply standard deviation divided by mean multiplied by 100 so standard deviation divided by mean is 0.0614 multiplied by 100 and that will be equals to 6.14 so these are the five ways to calculate the dispersion uh, both in absolute terms and in relative terms after that uh, these three formulas or calculations are related to the skewness what is the skewness there are two types of data one is symmetrical data in which mean median and mode these three averages are equal if these three averages are equal we can say that it is a symmetrical data but when these three averages are not equal that uh, that data is called asymmetrical data or if data is not equal or averages are not equal then there is a skewness and there is a positive skewness or there is a negative skewness in positive skewness uh, mean is always greater than median or mode and in negative skewness mean is always less than median or mode so there are two formulas related to the carl pearson coefficient of skewness if mode is given in the data you can calculate carl pearson coefficient of skewness uh, through this formula and formula is mean minus mode divided by standard deviation mean is 11.1 standard deviation as we calculated here 0.68190 and mode is 11.06 so as you are seeing here that after putting the values and calculating these values the result is 0.05865 that is positive it means that there is a positive skewness in which we can say that mean is greater than mode uh in second formula sometimes mode is missing so if mode is missing we can use the empirical relation and the formula is 3 multiplied by mean minus median over standard deviation uh, mean is 11.1 and median is 11.07 and after putting the values in the formula uh, we can calculate 0.1319 that indicates also the positive skewness uh and here is another way to calculate the skewness and that is bolles uh coefficient of skewness and that is equals to the q3 quartile 3 plus quartile 1 minus 2 median divided by quartile 3 minus quartile 1 quartile 3 uh is 11.57 and quartile 1 is 10. 
11.58. So after putting the values in the formula 11.57 plus 10.58 minus 2 median that is 11.07 divided by quartile 3 minus quartile 1 and after calculate calculation of this formula the result is 0 0.1010. So all these three measures there is uh, not necessary that all uh, the results or outcomes or answers uh, must be same. Uh, we just uh, we are just looking here that either answer is positive or negative. If answer is positive, it means that there is a positive skewness. If answer is negative, it means that there is a negative skewness. So uh, these uh, uh, this question is related to the measures of dispersion related to group data, and uh, as uh, we took the data. Uh, of uh, secondary nature or group data in the uh, question number one that is related to the measures of central tendency and same data uh, that is also a group data uh, because we are using here the same data as we took in the previous question. So it is the uh, these are the measures of dispersion or spread related to the group data.